Hey, welcome traders to another 24FX Academy Tuesday tip video. I'm Travis McCarter, your coach and mentor. Today I want to talk about something that's important, which would be what time frame should I trade? This is a question a lot of new traders ask, and I feel like also traders who've been in the industry for maybe a year and a half, they may still struggle. And Traders should look to utilize time frames based off their desired holding time and overall approach. And I personally feel like, depending on their personality, new traders sh should begin with a longer term approach, long term charts. Traders can look, traders with more time should look at a shorter term chart as their experience and success grows. So with that being said, what time frame should I trade? Well, in my opinion, like I said, one of the reasons new B traders don't do well in the market is because they trade on the wrong time frame from, from their personality. New traders will only want to get to the quick money thinking if they're making quick money, they'll trade on a smaller time frame because it's moving to the one minute to the five minute. And when they do that, they get frustrated and end up failing and they don't understand why. And uh, I, in my opinion, doing my studies through psychology and just trading as a trader, um, I learned there's like maybe three good personality types that may fit your time frames of comfortability. Um, and I'm not a psychologist, but I do a lot of study and my stepmom has a doctorate in psychology. So I stole a lot of her books. Sorry, mom. <laughs> but um, there's three personality types and let's get into that. Personality type one is a choleric, and a choleric is a short-tempered or fast or irritable individual. Um, these individuals don't have patience. They are, in my opinion, if this wasn't about trading, I would say they're more the gambling type personality, type A. Um, but regarding trading, um, they fit a time frame that may fit their personality and comfortability so that they don't have to wait then you got a melancholic personality they're more analytical wise and quiet they go with the flow um and they don't mind waiting then you got a, a third personality is a phlegmatic individual and they're more relaxed and peaceful okay now you're wondering well which one am I? Well, this is a question that you have to be honest and true to yourself. And out of these three personalities, um, the choleric individual will be best fit for a short term trading time frame for a day trade covered the period lasting from seconds to several minutes in duration, more like a scalper of that type of sort. And then when you have the melancholic personality you have someone who's on a long-term trade so this time frame is a day trade cover the period lasting from several hours to entire day sessions and then you have the thematic trader which is a medium term and the time frames that they trade covers periods within 10 minutes to an hour you know your traditional day trader so if we look at the charts, me personally, uh, I'm more of a hybrid of a phlegmatic and melancholic trader. Um, so what I have my system set up, this is TradingView. No, I'm not a uh, affiliate of TradingView, but I do love their platform. They actually have a free, free platform that they offer. Um, you cannot get the multiple uh, time frames on your chart. You'll be stuck with one, but I actually have a pro program that I pay and I'm subscribed to, and which helps me a lot. For my personality so what I do is actually have the four hour time trade time frame on my left hand side and that's my smallest time frame that I really look at um, while trading and then I have my daily on the top and at the bottom I have my one week and this helps me see the bigger picture and get closer and closer um, a little analogy that I like to use and share with my students is if you was looking at the market as a whole and you was hunting an animal, let's say an elephant, would you want to be searching for the elephant at the one minute and right up close? Missing where the elephant may be or 
beside the elephant on a 15 minute chart and you you can if you look left you can see the tusk and you look right you can see the tail of the elephant but you really can't tell if, if it's an elephant or a rock then you have the hour and you may be a mile away if that maybe uh a couple yards away from the elephant and now you can really see but you really don't know your area you don't know how far uh that elephant can run away from you you don't know your terrain and then you got the four hour you know what you're a few miles back you see the terrain and you can see the elephant and then you have the daily now i would say you're on a cliff and you can see the elephant you can scalp it you know shoot it with a, a scope and then my favorite is the weekly you're in a helicopter and you're chasing elephant now by the way i do not uh promote hunting elephants at all but this is just a metaphor so uh with that being said but yeah so you can see the elephant a lot better um with these time frames so me personally i like to be on the the, the weekly the daily and the four hour it helps me see the market a lot clearer compared to being on a time frame and also because of my personality yeah can i scout yes because now i understand my personality i understand how the market moves I can trade on a smaller time frame, but personally, I like to be relaxed and I like to do other things. I can set and go and trade and then do other things in my life, do my coaching one on one with my students, spend time with my family or just take a nap or eat. You know, I don't have to worry about, oh, my God, I'm in a trade. And also that goes with me having a strategy and also paying attention to fundamental news. So putting all that together, that is why I trade on the time frame that I trade. Now, each student, I sit down with them, learn their personality, and build a system that's around them based off their personality. So if you want to learn more about your personality type, what time frames that will be best for suited for you, you can message me and Paul at 24FX Academy on our website. Or you can message us at the bottom of this YouTube video. If you liked, you can leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like, leave a comment. Or give us a, a thumbs down. And if you want to reach out to us personally on our social media, you can reach out to Paul or I on Instagram through our 24FX Academy Instagram. Thank you again for watching this video. Take care.